Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about how to unclog that clog slow draining bathtub drain. Uh, some tips and tricks you can do before you actually call a plumber. Because uh, no one likes to stand in ankle deep, um, disgusting water. It's just gross. Babe, are you going to do that while I'm in here? No. Alright guys, so if you got some water that's accumulating and not draining correctly, there's a few things we can actually do before uh, you call the plumber. And they're pretty easy to do. All you need is a plunger, a screwdriver, and you can pick one of these up at a hardware store. This one is years old, um, but it works great on sinks and drains. And there's only so much you can really get to with uh, like these plates here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and remove uh, this and this and uh, we'll go from there. Open that up, just like that. And then I'm gonna wanna remove these. Oops. It might be a good idea to lay down some uh, towel. You know, scratch your tub up. Okay. And we're actually going to want to pull this whole unit out. It just comes out like this and slides all the way up. And look at that. That's uh, that's pretty disgusting. It's really disgusting, actually. It's a rather new tub. All new plumbing too, so this is just uh, showing, I didn't even think we'd get that dirty, but, um, okay, so once you have this done, you can go ahead and use this to, uh, you know, get further down there and see what hair gets out. You just stick it in there like this, you kind of want to wiggle it, and then you just feed it like that. Now, I got a pretty clean drain because I actually did this about a few weeks back, so, um, what you really want to do is get this part off and plug this part up. Now there's a few ways you can do that. What I do, I just take a, uh, a cloth here. I'm just going to wrap it just so I can just clog that section up. And then I'm going to wrap a bag around it like so. And I just want to get that plugged in that hole. So when I plunge this hole, no water is going to come out here. And uh, I could suggest doing this, you know, hot water. Hot water gets stuff to, uh, you know, maybe move a little better. And now once that's going, you want to take your plunger and plunge. And if you're getting water coming out of here, you don't have a, but you can see it's trying to. Just hold it there. And just plunge. That's disgusting. But the results allow your water to go down. As I keep running some water, let that stuff flush down there. that's that. Now I'll go ahead and rinse all this stuff off, but after that's done, just go ahead and put this piece back in there. I'll we'll just put those screws in there. And put the cover plate back on. And that's that. 